that's that's not what I do, man. And what do you consider yourself? Do you think of yourself as a researcher? I'm a seeker of information. I just I'm just trying to find out, man. Uh, answers. Yeah, um, uh, I don't know. I don't what's the meaning of it all? That's what I look for. What's, what, what's life really all about? Man, dude, let me ask you. So, <laughs> so you're saying like researcher, the one who does this, the search again? See, that that's kind of stuff y'all talking about. And that, that don't make no sense, man. man honestly, just tell the you, truth, man. Uh, you really don't believe in this, man. Don't lie, man. Come on. You don't believe in any of this stuff. You're just having a good time while doing it. Isn't that right? Uh, man. I don't know, man. You got a lot to learn, man. Learn about what, man? Come on. T- uh, about how to, like... Then uh, this is... This Glenn Keeley's a poor old man, man. He should be going to a psychiatrist. He shouldn't be like being interviewed all the time. And this is just like, I think I'm sorry. I think, man, you're taking advantage of him, man. Don't you? That's that. That ain't right, man. Poor Glenn Keeley, man. First, Alan Watt takes advantage of him, and then like now you doing it, man. This man, people just need to leave poor Glenn Keeley alone and stuff. Man, my heart breaks out for him, man. Oh, poor so, poor guy. So just before you hate him, now you feel bad for him. Yeah, yeah, now that I see people like do that, man, it's just. <laughs> so before you just did, a, you didn't like him. Now you feel so bad for him. Yeah, exactly. Oh uh, man, now you're not making any sense. Man. But anyway, it was nice talking to you, man. Okay. Um, I got a life to live. Man. Okay. I'm gonna do that, man. Well, why don't Good you luck, go, man. Why don't you come on Skype and you could do a show with me and my friends. Now. Well, later on, not tonight, but like another time. Uh, I don't know. Um, what's his name? Uh, Taurus Bulba. Yeah, to tell him to message me or something. He's been doing that. You ain't been like picking up Skype. I talked to him yesterday. Okay, man. Uh, well, we'll see you around, okay? Hope you come on the show. All right, All right bye. Bye. Man, you guys are a bunch of cowards. I want you to know. <laughs> Y'all can take yourselves off a of mute. Okay. Hey. Man. Hey, what's going on? That was, that was good. Man. You, you, hear, you see what you hear where I'm coming from? He's, he's quite knowledgeable. Man, you guys are wimpy. Uh-huh. Ch- chronic. Chronic? I don't think chronic. I think Scorpio's still here, but I don't know about chronic. No, they're both still I'm here. I'm here. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. What no, you- I wanted to come on the call. I wanted to act like I believed all the rest of the stuff. I was ready, man. Scorpio, I was trying to, because he was like Haitian, I was trying to get him his racial stuff up. I was like, man, these white people and stuff. <laughs> 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 well, yeah, he, he works from the angle that he knows everything because of all the Masonic books that he's been reading. Hey, he's, uh, he's really immersed himself in that type of information. Man. And then he goes black to Francis Bacon, and, and then he just builds up upon that. Man, I said right. Should've, you should have you asked him about the piggy in the back. Man, I don't give a <laughs> shit about any of this stuff. Yeah, he, he, that's what they, they believe, that everybody's controlled. They, everybody has a piggy on their back that controls them via uh-huh. a, cent, a central computer that's buried deep in the moho discontinuity. And, and the Neanderthals, uh, the, the Neanderthalers constructed this a hundred thousand years ago. Man, it sounds like it's full of uh, shit. Right? <laughs> and then he goes into the two. Then then he'll go into two thousand and one, and that's what the black monolith is all about. That's that's the actual computer constructed by the Neanderthalers. What the fuck? Oh, yeah, it's like it's like it's. But the, uh, like you listen, but like yeah. you listen to the guy. He he sounds convincing. He's not like to very me. sincere, right? Not to me. Yeah. <laughs> I know. Scorpio, man. This guy, he makes like UFO people, UFOologists look, look <laughs> sane. <laughs> Scorpio, man. No, yeah. I mean, like, would you, do, what's your opinion? Scorpio, you're a very good judge of character. Is he either severely mentally ill? I mean, Jared, because we all know that uh, Alan Watt and uh, Glenn Keeley are crazy. No, Alan Watt's more greedy. He's in it for the money, but. I still think Alan Watt's okay, but like, but he doesn't push the Jews. 
Scorpio. And what do you think about Jared? Is he a um, mentally ill, only trying to do to get some a fame and a name, or is he an agent? What do you think, Mister Scorpio? Yeah. No, no, I, I think he is someone that's not terribly bright, and he's um, read a few books, and he thinks he's got the whole thing figured out. Oh, okay. I think he's sincere, though. I do think he's sincere. Hmm. Oh, that's. But uh, but I don't think he's that bright. That's my you know. <laughs> Oh yeah. Um, oh, okay, that's a, a shocking answer. So you actually is it shocking? How so? I, I thought you uh, that you actually think he's uh, see him in a. That's a rather positive light to see him in because I, I I don't know. It, to me, he just like seems like he's trying to get name and fame. That's what I was thinking about. Let me ask Chronic. Chronic, what do you think about Jared? Um, I just couldn't understand his creation with some of. The words he was saying. It, it, nobody understood what you just said either. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Taurus, man. Like, what do you think about Jared? Uh, he brings up a few good points, and, he, and he's very calm in his delivery, and he and he sincerely believes what he's telling you. Because I had a conversation with uh, with him uh, last night. I, I, me personally, I don't believe in the theory of evolution. I think it's a crock of shit. But he really believes in it. And I asked him, "Well, can you provide me w- uh, with some evidence that um, evolution actually occurred, and especially regarding the Neanderthalers? Because supposedly they're our engineers. They designed us, right? and they couldn't come up with anything." Uh, I, I'm starting to feel at first I was angry at him now I just feel sorry for him I mean I have a fucked up life but it looks like he's even more fucked up than I am okay. yeah like if these Neanderthalers exist shouldn't there be some sort of proof uh, yeah I was asking about okay, that okay like the cave dwellers that, see the, the, the troglodytes they're like the uh, the middleman between the, uh, the Neanderthalers and the rest of humanity they're like the high priests wait 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 you're coming from the wrong angle you're, you're looking for evidence or proof no <laughs> Yeah, yeah. They're they're yeah. so good at what they do. They've erased all the proof. Uh huh. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So I'm saying that the cells were was it so. Okay, we know that we know yeah, that dinosaurs like existed, right? You you, you have fossils scattered scattered all over the earth of these uh, creatures. Now you think you, there'd be one fucking Neanderthal or somewhere. <laughs> So any, you know, anywhere. <laughs> You're being too logical. Uh, yeah. Oh man, I gotta thank y'all. I gotta cut this uh, discussion so, sh- it, short. It was, I, it was great. It was great. It was great. Thanks, to, uh, all you guys. It was, was really great. good. Yeah, yeah like fun. Scorpio said, it's better than watching TV. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> all right. Well, I hope that you've enjoyed today's episode of the Joe Blow Conspiracy Show. And, Chodahafiz. See you guys. Bye-bye. Hey, don't forget, uh, we always want a conspiracy theorist to come on the show, remember? That's why it exists. Ex- exists for you. Got it? <laughs> Get off your fucking lazy ass and come on the show already, bitch. <laughs> uh, I'm pretty bad sometimes. Yeah, I know. <laughs> وقتی برات نخواد خدا پشت هم